perfect for getting anybody that played the game for years and perfect for anybody that's just starting the game and picking it up for the first time. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube video. I'm going to be giving you the best loadouts you can do as soon as you log in on the first second of your wipe. Now, the MDR, if you are USEC, you will get one of these and you'll get an M4A1. The MDR, you cannot purchase once you lose it. Once it's gone, it's gone. All right, so as soon as you're going to come in, you're going to want to get one of these, the FFWB and the FF3. These can be get from Peacekeeper level one. So make sure you buy yourself the Burrist Fast Fire and you buy yourself the Burrist Fast. You've got a very nice ADS weapon right here. Uh, the ammo that you're going to be using is you're going to get yourself a Stanag Mag. Again, you can get these from Peacekeeper level one using your dollars. So just to show you now, because this is recorded at end of wipe, ready for the wipe. Uh, you can buy a 55645 Colt AR-15 Stanag Mag 30 round for $22. Okay, keep it nice and simple. And what you're going to do is unload the weapon. I'm just going to use this mag for now. Boom. You're going to have you want to use the M855 or the M856. Recommendation is to use the M856. It is a higher pen round than the M855. M855, you'd go more for the legs. Okay. Whacking this gun on and going straight into the hideout. Going into the, the hideout, you've got yourself a nice weapon here. There, this is the, the MDR. Again, you can put it, press B to change it from single fire to full auto. Then single fire is nice. Put into full auto. That was with no recoil compensation right there. So again, nice fast round fire. Uh, for this one, again, this can all be bought from Peacekeeper level one. You're going to need to get yourself the micro H2 and you're going to get the aim point micro standard mount. And then you're going to want to go over to mechanic. Nope, that's Ragman. Uh, level one trader and you're going to want to get the ar-15 windham weaponry rail gas block so this one you got to do a little bit of modding okay best way to do this is literally just come straight up to here you're going to take off the gas block you're going to want to take off the carry handle and then you're going to want to whack on the rgb block the amm and the h2 this is the best loadout for the m4 personally off the bat uh let's just load a mag into it that's actually got ammunition for this one, this is your standard M4 that you can use going in. Again, M4s are fully buyable from Peacekeeper level 1. But they're not actually. They're locked behind uh, CPUs and CPU fans, but you will need these uh, for your hideout and also for a couple of tasks down the line with Mechanic. So, uh, the gun itself, let's go into the hideout again. Let's fire this one. As you can see here, you got yourself a nice ADS. Again, this is very loud. Okay, this gun. Full auto. Slightly more recoil. You will have to pull down on this a lot more than you would with the MDR. Okay? That's for the USEC. Again, using the same rounds as before, you want to go for the M856 over the M855. Uh, if you are bare, you will get given the AK-74M. Now, the best thing about the AK-74M, the only thing you need to do to mod it is literally add the EKP-8. All right. This, again, is from Propor Level 1. You can find it just here, the Action Cobra. Um, again, recommendation. When you actually start in a wipe, you want to make sure you buy max amount of these scopes because they will literally fly off the market very, very quickly. They are obviously rotated through a, like a restock. Uh, so grab yourself five of these. Same with the other attachments of anything that I've done before. Okay, once you've got that, again, all you have to do is literally click, drag it onto the gun. And then I'll take an extra mag in for this one. Go into the hideout. And again, as you can see, this AK-74M, nice and easy. That was with no recoil control. I'm going to try my best there on this one. From this one, we'll jump on here. I'm going to do it from the crouch position. As you can see, nice little laser beam. Good little weapon to use. Again, with this round, you're going to be using the PS rounds. These can be bought from Propor. Again, level one. And that is these ones just here. The 545 by 39. Okay. Going over to the PP19 now. This is the other SMG you'll get if you go in as bear. You're going to want to put on yourself a nice cheeky little scope. The same one as before that we got from uh, Propor level one. And this one uses the, uh, the Vityaz magazines make sure you get the 30 round ones not the 10 rounders okay and again for this you're going to be using yourself 30 rounders pst gzh putting on the weapon nice little 
cheeky little gun this one again great for mobility close quarter of gun fights this will be absolutely perfect for you um so if you're going factory you need to go to uh, the dorms area and uh, as you can see you can single fire it nice and accurate or you can go full auto and it's a nice little laser beam honestly this gun shreds to start off with okay uh that'll be the pp19 okay so you've got two sks's all right uh this one is locked behind jaeger level one this one you can buy straight from paul level one now i'm going to show you a little trick of the trade with this gun okay make sure you don't first of all take in loads of these ones because this is an internal magazine you cannot unload this one you would have to chamber the rounds in individually okay so one thing that you can do to make this weapon a little bit better for you is go again straight over to peacekeeper level one and you can buy yourself the 20 round sks mags uh, again these are limited to five so make sure you are obviously going to switch between your weapons because you'll probably go through these mags pretty quickly uh, with the sks all right so again with the sks what you're going to want to do is put the internal mag in i'm going to show you a little trick here this might help you out a little bit um giving you that clearer sight picture so as you can see here you can't really see like if i aim at the wall just here you can't really see much of the uh well, the iron sight. Okay. But what you can do is if you actually remove the rear sight from the weapon. Okay. You get a slightly better uh, iron sight. However, when you do shoot with this iron sight, you will have to aim a tiny little bit higher. So if you're aiming for a head, say that, well, that's the head right there. You don't want to aim right at the top because the bullet is going to land a little bit low okay so if you line that just above someone's head obviously you can see a lot easier this way uh that's the only difference literally but you get a nice clearer eye in sight for aiming where you need to be all right um again with this one it's 20 round mag uses the ps rounds these can be bought from Propor, right here just to show you it is a level one round right at the first one slot there now the tan one which you unlock from jaeger when completing the, the, the quest this one, this one's got the little dovetail mount. So with this one, we can have a whack on the e EKP-8. So we've got the OPSKS, and this is the one, the, the tan one with the uh, the red dot on now. Again, nice, clear, easy to shoot. High pen ammunition. This will take through two, three, two to three shots to kill someone without any armor. Uh, if they've got level two to three armor, then you're gonna have to put a little bit more in. But again, this this gun kind of shreds. Um, it's typically my uh my my go-to gun um but again with this one i'll make sure when you take it off you take off that and you leave the dovetail on this one though you can adapt it make it a little bit more long range okay again going into the hideout i didn't put the gun on <laughs> going into the hideout <laughs> you've got a nice long range weapon Perfect for picking off them players when you need to change between long range and medium range. And also, you can actually change these in game. So, if you wanted to, you could switch these out. Now, obviously, if you've got a gamma container like myself, you've got the Edge of Darkness one, then you can literally just rotate these out between you uh, throughout, throughout the game. Oh, make sure you take that off, not the dovetail mount, okay? That's the thing you got to remember. So, you can change this in game. Uh, again, great for changing wherever you're going to be going and there we go we've oh no sorry we've got one more gun to show okay so the other gun that we can show you is from jaeger you can get yourself make sure you go to the level one traders for you so you can see you can bag yourself a cheeky little mo sorry it's propor start again one more gun that we can use is propor and that is our beautiful little mosin now when you are level one you can only buy this one which is the mosin infantry okay uh sorry this one you want to get the longer range one and with this one you're going to be using the lps gzh rounds so that is these ones right here okay uh again you can easily whilst oh i need to buy a few more rounds for that one Let's just buy like 20. again with this gun it is a chambered round so you need to make sure you are landing your shots at all times uh just load that ammo into there for now. Go into the hideout. This weapon will be your go-to 
probably woods is probably your best gun for this one or if you know you can land your shots consistently one tapping and you've got a i don't know counter strike aim or valorant aim or yeah them sort of guns this gun will one tap anyone with a head anything with a helmet on pretty much most of the time uh especially early wipe so this gun is your go-to for woods anything long range basically all right guys that is the end of this video this one is for the level one weapons that you can get and the weapons that you start off with if you're usec or bear perfect for getting anybody that played the game for years and perfect for anybody that's just starting the game and picking up for the first time hope this has all helped you out if there's any questions leave them in the comments i'm sure other people will help you out as well if i don't get to them before you um the next video will be on the best armor and rig setup that you can use so make sure you like comment subscribe see you in the next one guys thank you very much